Hi guys, this is Michael from the Board Games Chronicle. Today I have the pleasure of presenting to you another uh, material in the series about the storage solutions. Today I will be talking about the storage solution for the Charioteer. Charioteer, uh, one of the newest GMT games by Matt Calkins, the same author as Sekigahara. Uh, we are getting here very interesting, fast-paced uh, race uh, game race for glory in the ancient Rome. I already had a chance to play this game a couple of times, really like it, it's quick, you can play up to six players in this, and uh, I decided also to, 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 to uh, have some nice storage solution which <coughs> will be uh, useful and also flexible. I will be using as always cube for me uh, trays or card holders and you can find the link below this video with the detail. So let's have a look how this is organized now. First and foremost, uh, we have a bag with a fan token and we leave it like it is. Later on, yeah, we will be uh, using this during the game, so there is no need for any storage solution for this. Key of a storage solution would be the card holders. We have like 150 cards in Charioteer. Here they are. So what I'm using are three deep trays and one shallow. You probably can fit it in three deep if you pack them tightly. Uh, if you have them sleeved, uh, then you probably would need around five, five deep trays. As you can see, they fit pretty nicely. You can get them also pretty quickly from here. So this is where we keep the charioteer card. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Separate thing is, of course, the skills. You use them only at the beginning of the game. Uh, they fit nicely into the shallow box, as you can see. Probably, if you sleeve them, they would also fit here. Um, however, I do not recommend sleeving those. You use them very rarely, and they should not wear up uh, too, too quickly. You would have also the damage tokens. I like to keep them simply in the tray, like this during the game and taking them from here and putting them back. Very useful solution because you have two things at one moment. First of all, storage to store the damage cubes and the second one is to store them during the game. So you always either put them aside, which is not the most convenient. Uh, I'd rather have them like, like this. So this part of the storage solution I fully recommend. And I, I rather don't think there is a better one for those things, for cards and for the damage. Now, <clears throat> as for the player sets, that's a different story. Here we have six player sets. Each of the players have their set, as you can see here, the blue, the green, uh, the, uh, I don't know what's the color, it's also some kind of a, of a blue. Uh, so, so here they are. Uh, what I would suggest uh, to do is to keep such, 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 such um, sets for each player, they can easily take them out and take them, then put them back. Of course, you can use the zip locks, you can put everything into one bag, you can use also the smaller trays, most probably the card holders. So this is something which I call the optional part of a charioteer setup, although very, very useful, very friendly. You can also probably fit uh, in a couple of less um, boxes, and card holders, the walls, uh, player, player and components. Uh, still, it's better to sort them per, per player. So when you have six of them, six shallow ones, yeah, these are the shallow ones, definitely. And then, uh, of course, everything fits nicely. This is a three inch box, so there's huge amount of place for the rule book, for the player sheets, and for the two maps. I will not be taking them out. So if we pack everything, uh, we can do it nicely here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like this, it will fit nicely. Uh, let me do that way. This that way. So it blocks itself here. A similar thing uh, we can do at the bottom for the cards. Yep, nicely. And here we'll do that way. And this will put that way. 
for fun tokens, we have plenty of space in the middle. And as you can see, we still have some more space, maybe for some expansion, maybe for some additional content, uh, which hopefully we'll get in the future. Let's see, uh, you never know. Uh, maybe, maybe we get something more. And then we close the lid. And that's all, this is how, how it goes. Okay, a very short video today, a very short material. Hope you like it. Charioteer, great game from GMT Games, great race game. Not a simple throw a dice or play a card and move forward. No, no, guys. This is much, much more interesting. And I hope also to do some, some, some material about the playthrough, uh, how the game goes. I think you will, you will like it. So everything for today, five minutes oh, and a couple seconds uh, should be enough. Uh, head to the uh, cube for me uh, link and, and check this set and uh, also other sets which could uh, enrich your games and, and make them even easier to set up and then clean up and simply store. Thank you. If you like, uh, liked this uh, material, please give thumbs up. If you like to see more content like this, kindly please subscribe and also use the comments section. Bye for today. Thanks.